Good morning, everybody. It is a Saturday. I'm currently at Montclair, and I'm trying to get down to Newark, maybe even Jersey City today. It's kind of a nice day. It's a little chilly out, and campus is dead. So right now, I'm going to try and attempt something that I don't know if it's possible or not, because trains don't run on weekends to Montclair. That, I think, is the most absolute bullshit I've ever heard from NJ Transit, and they've fucked me over many times in the past. But this is, like, something completely different. This is just trying to access somewhere around New York City, and it's impossible on the Montclair Boonton line. So, I've taken it upon myself to try and take the bus, which I haven't taken an NJ Transit bus since it was with Chris in Newark. Trying to get back to Penn Station in 2021, so... My skateboard and I made it all the way over down Bloomfield Avenue and now I'm at Branchbrook Park just at the beginning of the city of Newark. Now, I don't think I've ever been out to Branchbrook Park for a vlog, but even though this sign is all graffitied up, this is the oldest county park in America. If it wasn't for this park, there wouldn't be things as Darlington and Ramapo where I am up by me in Bergen County. Gotta thank this park for what it gave us. I'm gonna go around explore, see some sights. This park has some beautiful things that I wanna show you guys on the vlog. Just crossing the bridge over the little pond here, there is so much algae in this river. It's kind of gross, but at the same time, it kind of looks cool. I just found some sort of event going on right now, hear a lot of music. Before I go in there, I just want to tell you guys that this park is a beautiful park and it was designed by the same guy who designed Central Park. He designed this and then went on to design Central Park. So, I mean, pretty high standards. Right now I'm on the edge of the park, but I wanted to show you guys the Cathedral Basilica of the Sacred Heart. This is the fifth biggest cathedral in the country. St. Patrick's does have some competition because this thing is absolutely gorgeous and it's massive. I can't even capture the sheer scale of this thing on camera. Tell me how beautiful that church is. There's a wedding going on over there, so I felt kind of out of place and I left but we're gonna cut across Branchbrook Park. We're gonna go to Roseville, why not? I just got over to Genesis Towers. The issue is you saw those two police cars that are parked right outside. What are they gonna do? Do they suspect anything of me? Do they suspect that I'm gonna go summit this rooftop right here? This fucking beautiful, amazing rooftop? Do they expect that my hair is gonna be perfect? Probably not. But it is time to summit this building. I'm gonna get in here. I'm not gonna be spotted. That ain't happening today. <laughs> Finally made it to the summit. What a beautiful day to be up here on the top of Roseville. I mean, the view is just absolutely insane. And right over there is where I started. That's Montclair right there. There are police at the direct bottom of this building near the main entrance. It's not the way I get in, but it's like the it was the main entrance of this building. They're just chilling there at the bottom right now. So there's no way I'm gonna be able to go and sit up at the top at my favorite spot up here. I mean, I'm still up here. I'm still gonna soak up the view. 
All right, now that I got the full view of New York City and Newark over here, we're gonna head back down to the ground. I'm gonna head over into downtown Newark. Okay, back on the streets. I think I'm gonna go to the abandoned Essex County Prison because I saw from an intersection where I was, I am not that far. If I just go down Orange Street a couple blocks, I'll be there in about five minutes. All right, just made it to the abandoned Essex County Prison. I just left the Essex County Prison. I don't know where I'm going now, but I'm just headed towards downtown. There's always something going on in downtown Newark. I hear some loud music coming from somewhere. That's a good thing. I, I see, I always told you, there's something going on in downtown Newark. Well, I mean, you could probably still hear it, but there's a big music venue thing going on over there. This is Military Park. This is a spot I always come to whenever I'm visiting around downtown Newark. It's just awesome. It's an awesome vibe here. I can't believe how nice it is in the city today. I'm right outside of City Hall and it's just perfect blue skies. There's a little bit of a haze coming in over from New York, but it's really nice out. I can't believe I'm even in a sweatshirt right now. Some sort of Asian heritage festival going on in that park over there. I've never been this far down on Broad Street before, but there's actually a lot of stuff going on down here. All right, I think I've spent enough time in Newark. I've decided I'm gonna take the PATH train and go over to Journal Square in Jersey City. Never been before, I'm always in Jersey City, but I never get the chance to go over to Journal Square. If anybody can think a little far back to when I did the Who Pays video, that was back in 2019. I was planning on going to Journal Square instead of going to Newark that day, and I never ended up going to Journal Square. I went to Newark. So we're gonna switch it up, get the best of both cities. First time out here in Journal Square. Honestly, a lot of development going on over here. Have never been to this part of the city before, but I've been seeing the skyline rise. I never knew the reason as to why it was called Journal Square. Jersey Journal. That makes so much more sense. This was probably a big like newspaper hub over here. Just had to get a little pick me up. I was up very early this morning. I didn't realize Journal Squared is getting 
a new building. This is a huge mega development that I've been watching for the past eight years being built, starting with this one right here. This beautiful building right here, this is a high school. William Dickinson High School. I, I can't believe I've never heard of this high school, number one. And number two, it's beautiful and it has a hilltop view of the city right over there. You can see a couple of the buildings in Jersey City poking out. Somehow, I'm gonna find a way down there, all the way to the waterfront. I'm gonna go all the way down there. I mean, I'm in Jersey City, why, why the hell not? Ave in Jersey City. This is kind of like the closed down pedestrian walkway of the city and I gotta say they did a really good job with it. Holy cow. I made it all the way down to the Grove Street Pass Station. There is some sort of record store day going on over here on Newark Ave. That's awesome. I found a lot of good stuff. I unfortunately didn't purchase anything because I didn't think I'd be going shopping today. So I didn't bring any money with me, but that was a great surprise to find that in this little area of Jersey City. We just hit downtown. I made it over to the Hudson River. I can't believe I made it all the way from the Passaic to the Hudson. How crazy is that? All right, well now I've spent plenty of time over here on the waterfront in Jersey City. I think I'm gonna go get food. It's probably gonna be Chick-fil-A at the Newport Mall. So we gotta get over to Newport. <laughs> Made it to the Newport Mall, now getting food. So my plan is, I'm gonna finish up here in Jersey City, then I'm gonna get on a PATH train, don't care which station it's from. I gotta go back to Newark in order to catch a bus back to Montclair, because there's no trains. All right, I made it into the PATH station. The train to Newark is about eight minutes away. Funny, it's like I've already been here today. Now I'm back in Newark, now I gotta take the bus. My decision is I'm just gonna take the light rail out to Branchbrook Park and then hop on the bus from there. Seems like the most convenient way. The light rail wasn't coming for like another 10 minutes at Penn Station, so I figured I'd just hop out and skateboard around again until the train comes. This day has been just a crazy series of journeys around the state. We are finally at the bus station. Bus is coming up right now. Headed back to Montclair, finally. It has been such a day and my legs are already cramping up. Finally made it back on campus and it's just before dark. But yeah, I'm really glad I went out today. I got to see two of our great cities in New Jersey. Jersey City was a lovely experience as usual. And Newark got to see some great stuff. So I'm really glad I went out today and I'll catch you guys in the next one.